Hi, my name is Shane. Thanks for hanging out today. I am making this video specifically for my high school drumline students that are locked in during the 2020 coronavirus quarantine. We won't be able to have our regular drumline clinics, so I'm going to go ahead and play the entire warm-up packet at various different tempos so you can play along and practice at home. I will flash up on the screen which exercises I'm doing and at what tempos, uh, and you can uh, go faster and slower on your own. Uh, for anyone that's not one of my students, feel free to play along. Down in the video uh, description below, I will link the warm-up packet and uh, any other information that you will need to know to play along. So, here we go. First up is the check pattern exercise. I'm going to play the first four of these. I'm going to loop it four times at a slow tempo. Uh, then I'm going to do the same thing for five, six, seven, and eight, four times at a slow tempo. Then I will play the entire thing. Then I'll speed up to a medium tempo and do the same thing fast. Make sure that this entire exercise is, you know, very even, no accents, no variation. And you're going to want to play this at all of our heights, which are one inch, three inches, six inches, and nine inches. I'm going to play it here at nine inches in the video, but you can practice along at any height. And one last thing, make sure on this that you're playing the exact stickings that are written on the sheet. Those are not suggestions. You must play those with exactly those stickings.
Next up is accent to tap. The very important thing here is to make sure that your accents are all one height and your taps are all another height and uh, the tap height is very low. Uh, you want to play this at nine inches for your accents and three inches for your taps. Also six inches for your accents, one inch for your taps, and then three for the accents and one for the taps again. I'm going to play it here on the video at nine to three, but you can practice that at all those different heights along with me. I'm going to do that slow, medium, and then fast, and I'll do it four passes at each tempo.
Next up is roving accents. Make sure you're paying the same attention to your accent and tap separation that you were in the accent to tap exercise. I'm going to play the first part through twice, uh, then the second part through twice separately. Then I will play the entire thing. Again, slow, medium, and fast.
Next up is double beat. We want to make sure that all of these notes are even across, none louder, none softer, and that they're all even in time. And the 16th note that you rest in between the doubles and the first four measures is exactly the same length of time as the notes you play. Uh, and don't tense up at the end on the 16th notes uh, and the last measure. Remember that those are not any faster than the 16th notes at the beginning of the exercise. Again, I'm going to play this four times through, slow, medium, and fast. Also remember to play double beat at various different heights, uh, at least three, six, and nine. Next we have the duple roll sequence. 
Uh, this is also in two parts. The first part we call ones and e's. Uh, that's where the diddles are. And the second parts we call fives and nines. Uh, and again, I will play this four times through the first part and four times through the second part separately, slow, medium, and fast. You want to make sure that your diddles sound very even and as close to 30 second notes as possible, uh, both in volume and duration.
So that is the entire packet. Uh, make sure you're doing that at all those different tempos, all the heights we play at, which are one inch, three inches, six inches, and nine inches. Uh, make sure you're doing your stretches uh, and playing as much as you can. Remember, I can tell if you don't practice. Uh, once again, I'm Shane. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you're one of my students, I will see you hopefully soon. Uh, we will get the line all set up. If you're not one of my students, hopefully this has helped you. Uh, if you're, you know, going out for a drum line somewhere or if you uh, just want to practice, you know, some basic snare drumming, uh, this is it. Thanks for hanging out.